In this section we have a look at how to solve equations that involve indices. Now we know how to solve equations such as this one here, linear equation. What we need to do is find x, so we look at removing values near the x. Initially we look at removing the plus 2 by subtracting 2 from both sides. That leaves us with 3x on the left hand side and just 9 on the right hand side. Now we need to remove the 3 next to the x so that x is by itself. So the opposite of multiplying by 3 is to divide by 3. That means that we remove the 3 on the left hand side and 9 divided by 3 is just 3. So x equals 3 is the solution for that equation. But what we need to do here is solve equations where the unknown is the index. And the first step is to look for a common base. So can we express 2 and 8 as a common base to some power? It's helpful to have a chart like this with some numbers such as 2, 3, 5 and 7 where we can express each of those numbers to a power and see what it comes to. So our aim here is to look for the numbers 2 and 8. And we can see here that 8 can be expressed as 2 to the power 3. So that's what we're going to use in our equation to help us solve for values of x. So our first step is to rewrite 8 as 2 to the power of 3. We can see here that we've got a common base of 2 and now we can equate the indices because the bases are the same. So the solution for this equation is x equals 3. Let's have a look at another example where we've got 25 and 125 to some powers. Our first step, because the unknown is amongst the indices, is to try to rewrite these as a common base. Here's our chart, so look for 25 and 125 to see if we can rewrite them. And you can see that both of those numbers can be expressed with a base of 5 to some power. So what we need to do is rewrite those values with a base of 5. And we'll do that, we'll put it in brackets, 25 is 5 squared and 125 is 5 cubed. We need to put it in brackets because the whole power has to be multiplied out according to the index law. So we find that the left hand side has an index of 2x plus 6, the right hand side has an index of 9x. Because the bases are the same, we can equate those two indices together. Now it's a matter of solving that equation for x. The first step will be to get all the x's to one side, so we'll remove 2x from the left hand side. That means that we've taken away 2x and we get 9x, take 2x as 7x. And the next step is to remove the 7, and we do that by division. So if we divide 7 on both sides, we end up getting x equals 6 sevenths. Here's another problem where we've got values of 4 and 8, and we've got the unknown in the index again. So our aim will be to find a common base that we can express both 4 and 8 as some power. So here if we go through the chart we can see that 4 and 8 are both expressed with a base of 2. So what we need to do is take these values and rewrite them into our equation so we can express 4 and 8 as a base of 2. So our first step will be to rewrite the 1 8 as 8 to the negative 1. Let's raise that to the top line. We can see that 4 is equal to 2 squared. We put that in a bracket. Our next step will be to rewrite the 8 as 2 to the power of 3. And again we need to put that in a bracket. In the meantime we'll multiply out the bracket on the right hand side so we get 2x plus 2. On the left hand side by multiplying out the powers in the bracket we can see that we get 2 to the negative 3 and we now have a common base of 2. So we can equate those indices to say negative 3 is equal to 2x plus 2. It's now a matter of solving this equation, and we can go through and solve that like a normal linear equation. So we need to remove the plus 2 from the right hand side by subtracting 2 from both sides, and then after that we need to remove the 2 that's being multiplied by the x by dividing both sides by 2. After we've done all that, we end up with a result that x is equal to negative 2.5.